Welcome to the Application Delivery How-To Series. My name is Christian, and today we are going to cover how to protect your apps from bad bots using bot management. Only 60% of the traffic hitting a website or web app comes from humans. The rest isn't actually from animals or aliens. No, it's from bots. And those are automated programs that act like a user to perform specific tasks. There are good or beneficial bots accessing your website and there are bad and dangerous bots. Therefore, bot management is an essential layer in your application security stack. It is vital to detect, classify, and then act on bot traffic appropriately. We have added a bot management pipeline to our NSX Advanced Load Balancer, which was formerly known as AVI Networks. So let's take a look how this works. The first step is our bot detection step, where we use our bot detection framework to collect as much information about the client, may that be a browser, a script, a program, an app, or anything like that, for instance, and then provide it to the bot classification step, where we run our classification engine that classifies each client in, for example, a human, in a good bot, in a bad bot, so we have a decision. And then lastly, our application policies allows us to take specific action for any of these classified bots. With that, we can apply rate limiting, custom responses, or even block any dangerous bot from hitting the application in the first place. So let's examine how bot detection is configured and how the incoming requests are marked with our bot management decision. Before we jump into the demo, a quick disclaimer. Bot management on AVI is currently available as tech preview and can be configured by any customer using AVI Pulse Cloud Services. In this demo, we're using this virtual service, which has bot detection already configured. In the virtual service settings, we have a bot detection policy enabled. In, uh, this policy will allow us to do detection and classification, as we heard earlier. And once the classification is done, into human, bad bot, dangerous bot, and so on. We have to go to the policies and HTTP security policy here to provide actions for the system. I have four pre-configured here. For example, a good bot here is only rate limited. And if the rate limiter is hit, so if the good bot will um, send more requests than it should, we will be notified with an uh, alert, right? but the rate limit action is none. The bad bot, on the other hand, we rate limit quite heavily as well, but the rate limiter action is a local response, meaning we're sending a 4.3 in case the bad bot goes over the, uh, the setup rate limit. The dangerous bot, on the other hand, we immediately send a 4.3 um, denied as uh, we don't want them on our um, application at all. And for an unknown bot where we don't even know um, where it comes from, we close the connection immediately. And having these in place allows us now to um, act and classify these requests. So let's review a couple of log entries here in the log analytics. First up, this is a uh, request. If we scroll down here, uh, marked as a dangerous bot, comes from Russia, and um, if we scroll down even further, we see that bot management uh, in this section has actually, actually classified it as an impersonator. And the identifier here is IP reputation spam source, meaning that although the user agent claimed to be a Chrome, the uh, IP is well known with our IP reputation database as a spam source, and therefore it was classified as a dangerous bot. And like this, all requests are now getting classified. And you can see that by using our log analytics to get, get an idea of what's happening. For example, here you have bot detection mapping rules classified uh, as 58 as dangerous bot. And we, you can actually use this to uh, drill down even further, or you can go to classifications directly and use that too. So if we wanted to drill in dangerous bots, and then maybe understand where these bots are attacking. So here, 
uh, in the URL path, we can choose the .env. Uh, seven logs were created in the last three hours that attack .env. And now we want to understand where are these bots are coming from. So four are coming from the US, one from Canada, France, and one from Russia. So you see that using the different um, log analytics you have already prepared for you, you have get great insights on what kinds of bots are accessing your page, what are they actually doing, and you can react to them using our policies where you create these rules that allow you to trigger on specific classifications. And this is the full power of the RV bot management solution. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to series.